I'm recording. I'm ready. Whenever Iro's ready. I'm good. All right, let's do it. All right, here we go. Da -da 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 -da. I think my computer's gonna give out before the server does. Oh no, server's fine. Computer's fine. Ooh. <laughs> it's like launching. Oh god, the water's coming oh, in. It's... Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I think it's I all it's blown stopped. up. Yeah, it's just updating. Aww. Boom. Boom. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot an arrow anyway. Oh, did you crash? Up. Yeah. Oh, yep. I crashed. Server <laughs> <laughs> not crash you guys? Nope. Server server's fine. It kicked me out. Oh. I got kicked out. Read timed out. <laughs> I'm okay. It blew up the wall. Dang it. <laughs> but all in all, it worked fairly well, I think. A lot more than you have to clean out. Oh, now you have, it's... You have mobs spawning down there already. Oh, yeah. Mob central. Not too many floaters. You got diamonds here. It did launch more than I thought it would. Yeah, I only went down to like level 16, so we should have saved the lower areas for salvaging. I'll, I'll get them off you. Stop! I'm dead. <laughs> I'm sure to die with the one hit. Oh, I was <laughs> way too close. Okay, I'll stop. It was an accident. <laughs> no one will ever be able to compete with my gunpowder supply. Never, never. <laughs> oh. Hello everybody, Merlebus here. We are on the Olympus server. And we made a big hole. Does that sound right? Does that sound like something one should say? I don't know. I don't know. Alright. So yeah, we successfully blew up a big chunk of land over here. With the help of D-Gamer. Okay. Helped me set it up and also gave me a bunch of uh, TNT from his mob farm. Which is a pretty good uh, mob farm. Very, it's the efficient piston pusher one, but it's also massive. So yeah, he gets a a ton of TNT, or a ton of gunpowder from that now. But yeah, we successfully blew up most of that. So we're actually sitting at about half, halfway there in terms of digging out the main the main bulk of the stonework that we got to get rid of. Now there's one thing I want to do. It's looking a little too kind of uniform and cylindrical. So I want to try to r remedy that if I can. Hey, cows. And what I'm thinking, so yeah, it looks a little strange. But I think if we made it kind of like a cliff, right where my cursor's going across, and then from that line downwards, it would kind of concave in. So the water would actually be falling in front of a voided area behind this. So I'll actually end up probably removing a bit more stone back there. And I'm going to see if I can demonstrate what I want to do, or the way I'm thinking of doing it. Oh god, I'm dead. Oh! I'm alive! I'm alive! Woo! That was really close. <laughs> way too close. Okay. The way I'm thinking of doing it is with TNT to try to get kind of a unnatural look. And we could possibly use this face right here to demonstrate. So the way I'm thinking, hmm, is we basically have to blow up that. Okay, so let's head, I'm just kind of winging this. I haven't tested this. I'm trying to keep this build kind of non-testing. <laughs> We'll test it here. I don't do too much, except for the redstone stuff. I don't do any testing in creative worlds in terms of function of this thing or aesthetics of this thing. I'm trying to do that all here on the server with you guys. Okay. So if we get up, I want to get below the sand line. The sand line is 
where the water is. So the water is probably right behind the sand. So if we go maybe to about here, and let's see how this will work out. So I'll probably have to do stuff like this. This might be a lot harder than I'm thinking it's going to be. But, ooh, iron. We're going to place some TNT in here. We're only going to place a little bit at the top to just blow up a little bit. And I'm probably going to have to waste a lot of dirt. So let's see here. So let's place it every... Uh, let's place it every two. I'm going to go with excessive use of TNT just so I don't have to worry about coming back and removing as many blocks, hopefully. So we'll just do that. And then we're going to go down a layer and do the same thing. So let's go off to this side. And we'll leave a two gap. Now we're getting in the corner. Yeah, whatever. Put that there. Okay. So now we go down. Which one is my pillar? This one. Okay. How much dirt did I bring? Not enough, probably. But I can probably recollect that stuff once I'm under it. And actually, I think I'm too low. So let's get rid of that torch. And we'll want to go probably like here if we're going to make a grid. Or I could kind of offset them maybe by one. One to the right, so it's kind of a zigzag. Maybe that will help. I don't know. Probably not. Let's go out this way. Then I can collect this dirt back. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do this, because it's probably going to get boring. So what is this? 2-2. Two, two. So right here. And what I'm going to do when I get lower down is I'm going to put the TNT deeper into the wall. So here we're pretty shallow. I'm only going in a couple blocks. But when we get down, I'm going to put the TNT further in the wall and put in more of it so it'll get deeper and deeper the further we go in. What I'm trying not to do is create, which I probably will have to go in and clean it up for sure, I'm trying not to make it so when this blows up and everything's gone, there's a lot of little places for mobs to spawn. If it's curling downwards like that, we're sh the end product won't have any little lips for m mobs to spawn on. So we'll probably have to go in there and take those out after the fact. Because I'm sure this won't work perfectly. Especially because I haven't tested it. But hopefully it'll work decent enough. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So I'll continue this pattern all the way down. And then I will show you the result. And we'll set it off and see if it works out the way we hope. Okay, I think that'll do. Won't go too much lower. As it is, we'll probably end up blowing up some diamond, probably. So we'll try to avoid doing that too much. I'd rather dig it out the last little bit by hand. Which is what I did over here as well, after we blew all that up. We left about 15 blocks. It was kind of the lowest that I put the TNT down to. I think it was level 17. So then we could just... Um, then I mined out the bottom part, so I could still get the diamonds. All right, so we have a wall of TNT. Let's get up high, and hopefully we can set that off and see if it gives kind of the effect that I'm looking for. Well, hello. 
It's kind of dark, maybe? Um, yeah, as good a place as any. Hopefully a piece doesn't... Oops. Ah. Let's get my bucket of water out. Um, just in case one flies out this way. Oops. It goes on my dirt. <laughs> uh, let's cover this spawner with water to make it less likely for that to happen. Um, oh, well, here we go. <laughs> the lava's doing our job. I don't really want it to blow up from the bottom up, though. Let's try to set that off up there. Oh, we're letting out a lot of lava. Nope, didn't even chain. Hopefully they chain. Maybe they're not... Uh, I guess they're not actually close enough. They might. Some might. So far, not so much. Once I get to the ones that have more than one in it, maybe. So far it's looking quite flat. <laughs> there we go. Alright, we made a giant hole. Give me that back. And I think these torches should be enough to keep it off. Okay, well, we got most of it. I think there's a few floaters right up in there that I'm probably not going to hit. Got it. And got it. Maybe? Yeah, the upper didn't really do the trick. The lower part kind of did. Let's get down here, maybe, and take a look. I have to get rid of the lava. And it did blow up all the way down to bedrock, because they just kind of fell, I think. That's okay. But we kind of have the effect, I think. It's kind of small scale. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Small scale. But it kind of does curve a little bit. There are ledges. So I will have to go in here and probably remove all these ledges. And I'll have to see how well I can do that. Because like here I'd want these all gone. But then we're kind of looking flat again. So if I get rid of this, obviously this is a cave we'll have to deal with. Oh, are we out of beacon range? Or am I using my fortune pick? Using my fortune. So yeah, I have to get rid of those. See, now we're looking flattish. So ideally I want this to kind of curve in. So I might have to do some better work or pretty it up with my pick to get the desired effect. And maybe we'll have to try experimenting with the TNT as well. So yeah, anywhere there's a lip, I would prefer it not to be there, and then we can drive the wall in a bit as well. So I might have to do that more manually, unfortunately. I was hoping I could get the TNT to do the job for me, and it kind of did. But I think I'll have to place it differently. I don't think that was the best way to do it, by the looks of things. Kind of just blew out a section of the wall. <laughs> not so much made it look the way I wanted to, just... We push the wall back. What I might do is add some stone back up top, maybe a bit, to get that curve effect. Not too sure. And anyway, why don't we leave that for now? Yeah. <laughs> do I have torches? I don't. Okay. We will say goodbye to this for a bit, but that's the idea. And I'm going to do the same thing for this thing that we're currently stuck to. So yeah, that kind of blew up a little bit too far back, it looks like. Just wanted a slight little slope. So next time, and up top where I was just putting one TNT, you can see how we just got that flat effect. So it didn't quite do it. But ideally I kind of want that all the way around, kind of along the ocean, along the sea line. And then the water will be pouring in over top of this. I think that might look better than what we got there. I'll have to see about the caves. I might still block them in or something so there's no light back there. We'll see. That's, that's a, a lot of work. <laughs> Terraforming, basically. Which is, yeah, going to take a while. Slow and steady. But yeah, if we can use TNT to do the job, uh, we will. Oh, there's more in there. But yeah, some of this from uh, D Gamer. So he, he brought some TNT to help me blow up this thing. 
And then he left me like four stacks. And I've been depleting my witch farm of all the TNT it can produce. But yeah. I appreciate it. Uh, the, yeah, the help from DGamer and also the extra TNT. I had loaned him some before when he was working on his mob system. So he's kind of like paying it back sort of deal. <laughs> but he's also bought some from me as well. So we'll see. We'll probably end up buying some gunpowder from him in the future as well. Let's head up top. I can show you what I've been doing there a bit. Not a whole lot. But we can see. Uh, this probably isn't a good way to get up here. Is it? Not really. Whee! Okay, I haven't but done too much. There's a few chests here. I ripped out everything that was on this wall. And I put it in these chests. And I threw in all my redstone stuff here, and I'm debating on whether I want to keep it like this. I threw my ender pearl, oh, threw the ender pearls over here for whatever reason. And then I've got dispensers and droppers. Now these ones on the end, I can actually hook up two sorters to them, so they could actually have two items going to these chests. So that's what I've done. This will have dropper and dispensers. This will have normal pistons and sticky pistons. We got hoppers. Furnaces isn't really redstone, but occasionally I use it for redstone. Same with cauldrons aren't really redstone either, but I had some extra spots, so I figured why not. Same with chests. We've got regular chests and lock chests. Although they look the same in the item frame. So you can't really tell. And then the redstone, and then this will be the redstone dust, so from like the witch farm will probably get rerouted up here. So We'll have all that, so that's why it's got the excess storage. And the same here, we've got pressure plates, and then buttons, so I could put two buttons in. So I think that's everything I kind of need for redstone, I'm not too sure. So I might end up hooking these up. These aren't filtered or anything like that yet, but uh, just a matter of putting them into the filter to get that working, and adding in the extra sorters on the edge that aren't in place. Yeah, so I did that. What else have I done? I wanted to look at the ceiling part of this thing. So what I'm thinking is maybe... I kind of wanted a dome ceiling. So there'd be a dome kind of right above the rafter things, whatever these are called. That would be a dome right above that. And then maybe another slight dome that meets up with that dome. So it'd be a dome on top of a dome. Sort of like that. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Let's set up here. So this I did last night. Oops. It's like, am I going to end up in the drink? Nope. Let's get some more into pearls. Sure, currently just here. Up here. Here, up here. Whoop. Alright, let's get up. I did a quarter of it, because I wasn't sure if it was going to work out. So that's why I only did a quarter of it. But it seems to work out decent enough. And this is kind of similar to what I did at the the Stronghold, where me and Iro and DGamer worked on. Did the little quartz temple at the end portal. This is kind of what I did. I made a, a sphere dome in the ceiling, and then I made a, a slight sphere lip to go to the outer wall. That's what I've got going here. So here you can see the edge of one circle. And then that's domes. And the idea is to have that all go all the way around. And then I got another sphere from the edge that kind of comes up and goes over. I think I'm going to wipe out those last two rows though, because they don't quite look right. And I can't, I don't know if you can tell, because it's pretty dark, but I ended up pushing these all the way up to the ceiling. And I actually like it. I don't know. Let me, oops. I was holding shift. Did I walk off a stair? Possibly. <laughs> I kind of like that. Oh, come on. Where's that going? <laughs> I kind of like that. If I can get back up here to talk. Yeah, when I first did this, the idea was these would meet up where the the dome was, so they'd be right up against the roof, but it didn't really pan out that way. And then when I did put the sphere in, it was higher than these were. But then these are straight diagonal and not curved like a dome anyway, so it wouldn't really have worked out 
So instead I just threw up the wood all the way to the ceiling and see what it would look like. And I actually think it looks okay. You kind of get that um, arch look to it anyway, just from the top part of it. So I think I might go with that. Let me know what you guys think as well. And then in terms of what to use and what style, DGamer did this. He was over here yesterday as well after I threw up, thrown up the sphere and he kind of swapped out a quartz for a stone. So kind of adding a little bit more to it, just like a little bit more variety. And I think we'll wait until we do the sphere. Once I get the sphere up and do the ceiling, I think that might dictate what we should use for kind of the accent on these. So if we do our ceiling like out of quartz or something, or I don't know, maybe we'll do clay and quartz, or I don't know what we're going to do. It'd be nice to get some stairs in effect. So in that case, we'll probably have stone, or maybe we'll have a whole all wood ceiling. I'm not too sure. It could be that could work. But yeah, so that is the idea. <laughs> now, every time I build up, I haven't built up recently, but we're going to add more to the tower. And currently the LC value, if we look at it, is at 159. So every time I build up in this tower, I'm actually decreasing the efficiency of my witch farm. Because the game has to calculate higher and higher up on when it's trying to spawn <laughs> mobs. So, unfortunately, yeah, this isn't the best thing to do on top of witch farm is put a giant tower that will decrease the efficiency of the witch farm but still it's more for more for fun not for making it as efficient and as as possible mainly to make it look good as well uh, can I jump no I can't I can't do it ow Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've done not the whole thing. Okay. <laughs> I'm just finishing off the upper part of this sphere. At least the upper sphere. I haven't done the outer one yet. Now it is becoming... Unfortunately, when I did it, I didn't take note of the size of the circle I actually did. So when it came down to it, in terms of replicating it again... I couldn't just bring up that plot site again. I had to actually copy it from the one section I had already done. So, whoops. I do still have the sphere loaded up for the other part, though. So, the, like the, where is it? This part over here. Uh, sprint seizure running. Yeah, this guy here, I still have loaded up, so I should be able to fix him up. Or load him up, because it's a lot easier going up that site than it is trying to copy something in the world, I find. But I'm out of dirt. Going through a lot of dirt with this. And I need more. More! And I'll probably need more than that, actually, if I do the outer sphere still. But there you kind of have it. And I haven't done the, ex the top of it either. As I do want some... Of Obviously, the beacon has to go through so it can get light. But I might want to do something else, too, so that's not completely enclosed. I'm not too sure. Maybe have another ring around? Hmm. But we'll see. So I might add one or two more layers of s circles. Oh, I didn't make it up at all. I might add, yeah, a couple more to the top there. I'm not too sure to close it in. Or not, or I'll leave it open for now, and then when, once we get the once we get the whole sphere done, okay, good. I'll say, please don't go down. Yeah, I mean the next the next sphere of this would be almost flat anyway. So I mean we could pretty much get away with doing that, I do believe, if we wanted to fill it in. That would be all it would be. Pretty much, pretty much, and then maybe it would jump up one more time, but I don't think we'd do that. Let's finish this off, though. Um, if I can figure out how. <laughs> and uh, this actually I don't really have to do because it's above the, the rafter thing. But, do it anyway. Well, that looks really weird. 
But I guess it's right. And then, however we need to do it to get this to look proper. Mm, what's going on here? Yeah, this should be filled in here. There we go. This one's pretty simple. Just got like a, almost like a square. Straight line, straight, straight line. And then, yeah, now we're getting into that upper part. So there we go. That would be our sphere. Obviously not made out of dirt, but I will take whatever we use and just place it up against the dirt. I don't think I'll do a replacement. I think it's in a good position that we can have the our real ceiling kind of one block in from that. And you can see it is getting darker in here now. Still sunlight going straight down there, but now we'll actually have some shadows. You can definitely see shadows in the roof, so we'll have to think of a way of kind of lighting up the roof as well. So we might have to have some lamps um, embedded into the design to give off some light, either visible or hidden. Uh, but yeah, so that's that. I might go ahead and do the rest of this one as well, and then we'll see how that looks. And then we'll have a good idea of how we can kind of connect everything in. Once I feel like the cap's on, I can do kind of the walls on the inside. I can bring the walls up to wherever we need to be, whether they're coming up all the way. Still got to figure out the layout over here, though. Don't know what we're going to do here. Uh, but the other areas are pretty much done. I don't think there's going to be anything else above that area or above this area. I do have to figure out the layout over there as well and decide if that's where we want our portal to go. Or if we want our portal to go over here, maybe up top on the most upper level. And then you'd come up and you could look down. You could go that way or you could take the long way around. This way would probably be the quick way down. So that's an idea. Could do that. I was thinking there, but maybe up here would be a better idea. And then once we get that sorted out, I want to have more than one portal as well. So I might have a portal here, and then maybe we'll have a portal somewhere else, either in this upper part or in the next section there'll be a portal. There's definitely going to be a portal down below. So that way when you're in the nether you can kind of pick which portal you want to use and it will take you to various locations. Alright, time to lay out some more dirt. Okay, I think I'm done. Oop. For the most part, I left out the last few. I'm not too sure. Where's the original side? Is over here. And yeah, as far as the other sides go, I didn't do this one or this one or this one. Which I probably will end up doing. At least these last two. This one and that one probably. This one not so much. That one probably not. Then I also ran out of torches, so I gotta get some of those. Oops. Don't fall. Don't die. I don't want to die. Yeah, let's get up there and see how that looks. If that gives us a better idea. Feels a little better with a roof. Or a ceiling, I guess, in this case. Uh, be a little hard to tell until we get something up there other than dirt. <laughs> and I haven't extended the other pillars up as I have these two. We could maybe try to see what it looks like. Hmm. Yeah, without it looks odd, I think. I think it looks a lot better when it goes all the way up than having it just kind of branch out like that. That was the other option, is having the pillar go all the way to the top and then have that go all the way and meet the top, like the center part. Or I could just adjust that and move them all upwards so they're not as low. But I think that has a decent effect on that side, so I'll probably do the same thing on this side. And then it's just a matter of getting some kind of block set. I'll probably play around with that off camera, figure out what we like or what I like, and go from there. 
And I think that's about it for this episode. I've been thinking about how we could possibly... Yeah, it looks okay, I think. Hmm. Yeah, it definitely has to come out a bit more on these other sides. But other than that, I think it's good. And this arch will probably end up... I was trying to figure out how to do a nice arch here on the diagonal. I think I'll end up putting that higher up. Might even have that hopper line come out higher up as well. I'm not too sure. So it could be better hidden. And I was thinking how we could possibly get a better result from our TNT explosions. And I think the next way we'll try is just to have it... I won't even put it inside the wall. I'll just put the TNT like on blocks in front of this wall. So we'll just create an explosion kind of in front of it. And hopefully that will kind of explode it or kind of deface it a bit so it's not so uniform without blowing a huge hole into the wall like we did there. So that's kind of what I'm thinking for the next attempt. So I'll probably try to record that as well. And yeah, that'll be it for today, guys. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. Maybe. Maybe. Time to slaughter some cows. I wonder if you could kill an ender dragon with the wither. Hmm. Final time. Come on up and die. There we go. And that's how you be the wither. 1400 <laughs> withers. <laughs> you gotta use 1400 withers to kill one ender dragon. Oh, look at this. That's... They've like destroyed the obsidian towers, even. <laughs> yeah, because they'll eat it. <laughs>